If you guys want to make epic thumbnails like these ones that are on the screen right now, then keep watching the video and you'll be making one of these. <laughs> Okay guys, so today we're going to be doing something completely different on the channel. We're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make some epic thumbnails. Now, personally I think that thumbnails are the most important thing about a video on YouTube. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some thumbnails which will make you gain more subscribers and more viewers. So, what we're going to start off with is basically we're going to be picking a background for the image. Now, I've already chosen the background but if you don't know how to do that, all you need to do is go into Google and just type in any type of game, so Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, map backgrounds, and you'll find a ton of background images. But I found one now. I've got this fact. I've got this folder, guys, which will be in the description down below. I'll have <clears throat> basically in this folder. I'll have like backgrounds. I'll have uh, the gradients. I'll have uh, style packs. I'll have sunburst shapes. I'll have uh, fonts, etc whatever if you guys want me to do more of these packs and more of like templates and stuff then drop a like and tell me in the description that you want that but what we're going to be doing as what we're going to be starting off with is basically picking our uh, background so i've already chose one so i'm going to drag that onto our onto our canvas which is 1920 by 1080 remember that guys uh you want to uh place the image in the corner make it a little bit bigger than the actual canvas itself because look you can see, you can see these white lines so you can you can just do that with your you can just move that up with your uh, keyboard arrows. Now once you've done that, guys, what I want you to do is I want you to go into image adjust black and white. Click OK, and then what you want to do is go into filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Yeah, that blur, and put it on three pixels and click OK. Now you're done with the back. You name that to background. Now what I want you to do is I want you to click a I want to create a new layer. Now by doing this, you want to click this little button down in the corner, and it'll create it'll create a new layer. And you want to go on to the gradient tool. Now if you can't see the gradient tool, and there's another tool there, just go to where the gradient tool would be and right click and click gradient. Now double click on this, and I've got loads of gradients, guys, as you can see right there. Now, you can get these down in the description. Now, it'll be a little pack, so you just have to load onto uh, Photoshop, and all of the stuff will be there. But if you don't want to download it, or if the gradient pack doesn't work on on your version of uh, Photoshop, or if it just doesn't work, if you don't want to do it, uh, what you want to do is go into black and white, change the black color, so you double click on that arrow there, Change that colour and you can change it to whatever colour you want. So I'll do like a red maybe. Yeah. So you want to pick like a light red. And then you want to pick a really dark red uh, down here. So click OK. Uh, once, you, once you're satisfied, satisfied with that, click OK. And then click Shift and go start from the top and go downwards. So it looks like this. You can do it whichever way you want. But I just like that. I kind of like this one. So we'll go now. Once you've done that, once you're ready with that, you go on where the normal is. You click on that. Uh, you click on the drop down arrow, and you click overlay. Now this looks pretty good. Now guys, uh, it's pretty much transformed the entire image, and it looks amazing. But now what I want to do is I want you guys to go in the folder again and pick this little free texture. Uh, I want you to pick this text. You can download different textures off the internet. So I'm going to be using this texture. And what I want to do is click Shift, make it bigger, bigger than the actual uh, canvas. Uh, if you're if you okay with that, click OK. Uh, go on to the drop down arrow there. Click on Overlay and change it to whichever like. So obviously you can if you don't want it if you don't want to be shown if you don't want to be shown that much. You click on, you can change it to like 34, but I kind of like the uh, the texture, so I'm gonna put it on to around 60, 65 percent. So we'll we'll leave it as that. Next, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be to putting a sunburst effect on the actual uh, image. So I'm gonna be dragging this little uh, this image on the uh, the canvas. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna be putting this. Little, I'm gonna be putting it in the corner and making it bigger. Shift by clicking Shift. 
and just clicking on the arrow on the little uh, arrow there making it bigger and then moving it back down to where it should be uh, uh, to where the uh, the game character will be and where you're putting it when you're ready with that click OK and then I want you to do the exact same thing that we did with the texture is that we're going to go into overlay uh, opacity and obviously I want the opacity to be pretty low on this so I'm going to put it on like 50. So after you've done all this we're going to be doing the next thing for the back turn and that is by creating a layer uh, you can just create that as like so uh, by downloading one of the packs which is going to be the splatter pack So, once we've done this, we're done with the background, not to focus on it anymore. But we know what we're going to do is we're going to be focusing on the text. So, now that we've finished the background, we're going to be focusing on the text and the character that's going to be on the screen. So, for the text, I'm going to select the text tool. I'm going to draw a box. And I'm going to put the text that I want in it. So, obviously, this is a tutorial, so I'm just going to do thumbnail tutorial. Uh, make that into white just for now, guys. Don't worry. Uh, we're gonna have some really really nice effect on the uh, text we're gonna duplicate that layer click OK we're gonna put it underneath it and we're gonna, I'm gonna do tutorial so at this point guys you could do like epic black ops 3 gameplay or whatever it's up to you guys whatever you want but if you're satisfied with that guys what we're gonna be doing is we can go on with uh, putting some nice uh, designs over the text and some nice colour and stuff. So, down in the description, guys, I've, I've put down a, a Photoshop pack, and in that pack, guys, it will include all the styles, like these styles. And basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select this purple style over here, and you're gonna put it on tutorial, and you're gonna put it on thumbnail. So, now, guys, once you've done that, you're gonna be going on thumbnail, because obviously, you don't want that colour. If you want to keep the colour, you can keep the colour, but we don't want that. So, for thumbnail, I'm gonna do the top colour as white, guys. So, that's white and then tutorial to so the bottom the bottom uh, text I'm gonna be doing that as like a red so you can either just select the red from here like that or you can actually do like a full-on red I'm just gonna go for a full red here and you can change your opacity brighter but then it, it will take away from the actual uh, shadowing and stuff but I feel like that seems to be okay so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna control and click on both the both the layers and but you're gonna click and control on both the layers and then you're gonna press control E that's gonna merge them together and like group them together pretty much now once that's happened guys you can either you press control T and you can re you can make it bigger or smaller so you could even like just have it like that but obviously that's just text so it would look a bit boring but if you wanted to just do that and make you know the thumbnail readable clear you could keep it like that with a sick background but we'll keep we'll we'll make the text smaller for now. So by clicking Shift T, you can make it bigger. So I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Click OK, and then pressing Control T again, it's going to put the text. It's going to put the box around it where you can resize it and stuff. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to right click on that, and we're going to click Perspective. Now with this Perspective tool, you can you know you can change the perspective perspective of it. So you can make the text you know more readable. You can make it. So it's like going off into the corner and stuff. So mess around with this, guys. Do whatever you guys want to do, and whatever you guys think will be cool in your uh, in your case. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put it in the middle of it. There you go, just there. So now, guys, what you wanna do is make the text even more epic. You're gonna click on the the layer that was created, and you're going to you're gonna right click, click blending options, and you wanna go on to drop shadow. And that makes it darker obviously you can see the uh, the shadow behind it now if you guys want it like you know you can have it centered or you can have it to the side or wherever you want I'm just gonna have it right behind it but we're gonna have the spread on and we don't want it too we don't want it too thick and we don't want it taken away from the picture and the actual background and the image so I'm gonna just lower the opacity a bit but I kind of like this right now guys so now we're done with the text guys we're just gonna focus on the game character now to find the game character for example, uh, if you're going to do a Black Ops 3 thumbnail, you'd just type in 
Black Ops 3 character PNG. Here's the one that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the Firebreak, guys, as you can see here. Now, it has no background. This is what I like about PNGs, guys. But what you're going to do is you're going to put that at the bottom. You don't want it floating or anything. You want to put it at the bottom and you want to increase the size to whatever size you want it to be. So I'm going to do it. That seems to be a pretty nice size. And I'm going to put that underneath the tutorial because I want the text to be the first thing the audience sees. And then what you're going to do is you're going to basically do the exact same thing that we did before. I'm going to go on and go on the layer, right click, blending options, drop shadow. And you can even add a stroke if you want to. I don't, wanna like, I don't like to have it too thick, but we're going to do it red. So we'll pick a uh, red from the background maybe. Yeah. So we'll do this red. And obviously this looks good as it is guys, it looks pretty, I think it looks amazing, but to make it even more epic and even more professional and eye catching, we're going to add a layer on top of the, uh, the Black Ops 3 character and what we're going to do is we're going to pick the paintbrush tool, we're going to pick a soft rounded uh, paintbrush, we're going to make it uh, to 250, make it big guys. And what you're going to do is, you're going to just do it around the character. Just draw around the character. Make it look good. There you go. So, now you guys, what you can do is, you're going to go into the drop down arrow. And you're going to go on screen. And that's going to make it even more epic. And there you go, guys. That is a completed thumbnail. That pretty much takes like 15 minutes to make. And if you guys, you know, if you get, if you get used to how to do it and you get used to the rhythm, then you can easily do these in 5 minutes. So yeah, that that's it for the video, guys. If you have if you have enjoyed the video, if the video has helped you, please uh, comment down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and uh, yeah.